This week we meet Terry Singletary Sr., founder of CJD Watch, a USA-based nonprofit organization which tracks occurrences of and raises awareness about Creutzfeldt Jakob disease or CJD, a neurological condition which has no known cure and is always fatal. Some scientists say the cause of classic CJD, also known as sporadic CJD, has not been determined and that variations of the condition called variant and new variant Creutzfeldt Jakob disease, which are rarely found in the US, come from eating diseased beef. However, the numbers of sporadic CJD cases are growing rapidly and health experts such as Dr. Michael Greger, Director of Public Health and Animal Agriculture at the Humane Society of the United States, say that there is scientific evidence linking consuming beef and other kinds of meat to sporadic CJD. Variant Creutzfeldt Jakob disease comes from consuming cows with bovine spongiform encephalopathy, or BSE, more commonly known as mad cow disease. Mad cow disease is a lethal condition where the brain of the bovine is infected by abnormal proteins called prions and is eventually destroyed, killing the animal in the process. A common transmission route for BSE is factory farm operators putting bovine parts, essentially slaughterhouse waste, which may contain BSE-tainted nerve tissue, into cattle feed. Cows who eat this tainted food may become infected. Though many nations have banned this extremely hazardous practice, it is still illicitly done and in the U.S. it is legal to feed bovine parts to other animals such as pigs. Sheep too have a version of BSE called scrapie which has been attributed to sickening consumers of lamb with CJD. Mr. Singletary believes that health officials do not have a proper system in place to monitor this condition and are vastly undercounting the number of deaths caused by Creutzfeldt Jakob disease as well as the amount of infected livestock in the USA and around the world. He is truly committed to making the public mindful of this disease and its true impact on communities. His steadfast determination comes from losing his mother to sporadic CJD a number of years ago. My mother uh, acquired the Heidenheim variant Kretschville Jacobs disease. It's one of six different strains of the sporadic CJD. We got a phone call. Um, <laughs> she said, you know, I think I'm going blind and I'm losing my mind. That's how it started. Uh, ten weeks later, she was dead. You know, it, it, it happened so fast, we couldn't ever catch up with it. But Heidenheim variant, it, it happens in the part of the brain behind the eyes. That's where it manifests itself the worst. and It destroys your optical. And uh, it's an exceedingly rare strain of the sporadic type and uh, it's very rapid. And uh, what did the medical doctors think was going on with her? You go through a battery of tests and, and they're really trying to eliminate disease because they can't say well this is CJD or this is a prion disease. What they do is eliminate everything else and then they give you a clinical diagnosis of it and the only way to 100% to is through a brain biopsy uh, after death. Test results later confirmed the cause of Mr. Singletary's mother's death to be the Heidenhain variant of Creutzfeldt Jakob's disease. You know, at first they went through everything. I, I think even Alzheimer's was questioned at first, but they did diagnose it as Heidenhain variant. Uh, now, my neighbors, a year before my mother died of Heidenhain variant Creutzfeldt Jakob's disease, uh, it was 12 14 97. On 121496, my neighbor's mother had died of CJD, and at the time I wasn't paying attention. I have her autopsy, but they had diagnosed her as Alzheimer's through the whole thing, and he finally got mad and had somebody do an autopsy. And, and uh, if it wasn't been for the autopsy, it would have gone down as much. 
Terry Singletary, Dr. Greger, and many others say that possibly thousands have been misdiagnosed with Alzheimer's, a form of progressive dementia or other neurological conditions, when in reality CJD is responsible. Anyone consuming beef, beef byproducts, or other meats is at risk of contracting Creutzfeldt-Jakob's disease. The neighbor's case, she had been taking for years a nutritional supplement that contained bovine. It contained a list of bovine products, but the one that drew attention to me was the bovine brain, the bovine eye, and the bovine pituitary was in this pill as an ingredient. And those are the three of the most infectious part of a, a cow infected with a prion disease. And you got these things in these pills, and there's thousands of pills like this on the market. Basically, a little supplement full of these specified risk materials. They call SRMs. It's the most highly infectious part of a brain or of an animal. They were putting them in these supplements for cattle, and you had some 300,000 cows die of it. And we're doing the same thing for humans over here, putting the same specified risk materials and nutritional supplements and feeding them to people and telling them they're going to put hair on your head or cure your heart disease and they're not doing nothing but exposing you to mad cow disease. Even there was a warning from the CDC came out a couple of years ago because a lot of nutritional supplements are made from deer antler velvet and they have found a prion protein in deer antler velvet and they're putting those in these supplements and feeding them to humans as well. Mr. Singletary's experiences led him to look deeply into what caused his mother's and neighbor's mother's deaths. Since the mid-1990s, he has conducted independent research on prion-related diseases, which encompass not only Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, but a whole host of other conditions. Prions are so dangerous that even the tiniest particle is capable of infecting a human or animal. Prions are not able to be neutralized through the use of drugs or any other currently known method utilized to treat disease. You can incinerate the prion agent to 600 degrees Celsius. That's it's over 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. But you can incinerate a fingernail piece of infectious material, prion infectious material, to 600 degrees Celsius, to ash. It's nothing but ash. And you can make biodiesel fuel and it'll survive the manufacturing of biodiesel fuel. One of the main missions of CJD Watch is to advocate for the institution of mandatory testing for and reporting of Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease in the U.S. because it has been massively underdiagnosed. There was a researcher at Yale in yes, the 80s, and she actually conducted a study, and uh, from that study, uh, uh, she discovered that about up to 13% of cases that were actually labeled as Alzheimer's diseases were not. They were indeed um, Creutzfeldt Jacob disease. And uh, when you look at that in the terms of actual numbers, uh, they were saying there was about 2 million cases of Alzheimer's and 10-13% uh, you know, of that is a very significant number, like um, maybe even 120,000 cases of Creutzfeldt jacob disease is being missed. I, I don't know how many cases are being missed, but I know through misdiagnosis and, and, and through the, the, the lack of diagnosis, there's many cases being built. My neighbor, for instance, uh, there was other studies. There was a uh, Duke study on Alzheimer's. There was a PA study and there was a Mexican study. All of Alzheimer's, and th three to fourteen percent were misdiagnosed. misdiagnosed. Yeah, through all four of those studies. You mentioned that you don't think there's a good enough uh, reporting system because if you report these diseases, then you can start to identify clustering. You got to have a questionnaire to to get to that, and they have just within the past few years gotten a questionnaire, and I don't even think they're not even sending this questionnaire to everybody. They just send it to ones that they think have NVCJD.
In the final analysis, anyone who consumes meat or meat byproducts risks their life with respect to prion-related diseases. The very best protection from these frightening conditions and many others is a plant-based diet. We thank you, Terry Singletary Sr., for helping raise the alarm on Creutzfeldt Jakob disease and its variants. May you continue to benevolently assist in bettering public health through your unwavering work, and may humanity promptly be free of this disease. For more details on Terry Singletary Sr., please visit www.justgroundsonline.com forward slash Profile forward slash Terry S. Singletary Sr. Earnest viewers, thank you for joining us for this week's edition of Healthy Living on Supreme Master Television. May we all soon enjoy the innumerable benefits of the plant based lifestyle. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash HL.